which CPU is faster, Intel or AMD? Because one of these CPUs is a winner and the other is a loser. I bought the fastest of both CPU brands to find out which one is the fastest processor for Minecraft through a series of intense performance tests and real world CPU benchmarks. For our Intel CPU, we have the i7-14700K. Oh, there it is. And with an incredible 20 cores, it is one of the fastest CPUs that you can buy for gaming. But of course, let's check out our AMD CPU. And this is the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Whoa. Which has eight supercharged cores. But how do these CPUs compare? Both processors basically cost the same, but Intel could be better because the Intel CPU does have 20 cores, whereas our AMD CPU only has 8. But our CPU cores everything? And which one is actually faster? But to test these CPUs, we're going to have to build two identical gaming systems so we can fairly compare both competitors' CPUs. Let's build two PCs. Now guys, building one PC for one video is already insane. But we are building two identical ones. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. This, this, is all, this is all the money I have. We are finally ready to reveal the gaming PCs. It took me two days, but I finally built both computers. We now have two identical gaming PCs. Both the AMD and the Intel PC. Just to give you a sense of how identical they are, nearly everything is exactly the same. These PCs are equipped with matching RTX 40 series graphics cards, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Even our CPU cooler is the same. Now that we've built a setup for the AMD and the Intel PC, it is time to turn them on. Okay, we were having some issues with the AMD PC. Doing... Oh, that does not sound good. Our first test is the boot up test. Let's reach for the power buttons on both and turn these PCs on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Which one will turn on first? Ooh, did one of our screens just turn on? Is that Intel? No way, Intel's ahead. Oh wait, AMD's behind, but they could still do this. I still think Intel's gonna win though. Oh, no way. Intel actually booted up first. And a few seconds later, that's crazy. The Intel PC was literally 10 seconds faster. But without further ado, let's carry on. This looks awesome. Just look at this setup. But now let's see our CPUs in action. Our Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, 4.3 GHz. That is a lot of L3 cache. Especially compared to Intel. Having more L3 cache can improve performance in gaming and any other task that requires memory. And AMD having more L3 cache could give AMD more frames in Minecraft. But before we get into any kind of gaming, we need to compare these CPUs in a CPU performance test. We're going to be using Cinebench, which measures our CPU's single and multi-core performance. It is time to start the single core benchmark. The single core test measures the speed of just one core. And here we go. Both CPUs were off to a really good start and it was obvious it was going to be close. The Intel PC is actually ahead. Is Intel just better for productivity? And Intel has finished. We got a score of 2000. What will our AMD PC get? 1800! That is quite far behind. So far, the Intel PC has won. And now, it is time for the multi-core test. Oh wow, they're both going really fast. Look at our CPU users. And AMD is maxed out too. I actually can't tell which one's winning. And while we are maxing out these CPUs, our Intel 14700K managed to hit 76 degrees, whereas our AMD CPU hit 74 degrees. It's time to reveal the results. So our AMD PC got a score of 17,891. I don't even want to show, I don't, I don't even want to show the Intel PC. 33,000. It's clear that Intel having more cores is a huge advantage outside of gaming. But our AMD Ryzen 7800X 3D is a gaming CPU. So how will it do in Minecraft? Now this video has been pretty crazy so far and it wouldn't have been possible without today's sponsor, Mantis Sleep. 
Now, guys, being truthfully honest, I have always struggled with sleep quality. And getting lower quality sleep has made me worse at video games and worse at making these videos. But the experts over at Manta Sleep have engineered a sleeping mask to boost your sleep quality. This is the Manta Pro Sleep Mask, which is engineered to improve your sleep quality in many really cool ways. And is one of the most advanced sleeping masks on the market for total blackout, adjustability, and comfort. I think it's time to try it out. It Velcro's on the back. Oh, this feels nice. I've got lights next to me. I can't see anything. I need to try sleeping in this. It is comfy. It's. I can see why people get a sleep mask now. I slept amazingly. Check out Manta Sleep's wide range of masks on their website and in the link in the description. If you want better sleep, it's absolutely worth it. And thank you, Manta Sleep, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. It is time to test both the AMD and Intel PC in Minecraft. It is time to begin the Minecraft boot test. Which one will boot up first? And to no surprise, our 20 core CPU has opened the game quicker. Are you kidding me? At this stage with four points down, I was feeling pretty bad for AMD. Uh, unfortunately, AMD was ever so slightly slower. It is time to load our worlds to begin the Minecraft performance test with the exact same settings and performance graphs, which will allow us to monitor our frame rate, utilization, clock speed, and the amount of power our CPUs use. I'm going to load each world at the exact same time. Here we go. Go! Go, go, go! Yo, AMD! Oh my gosh! AMD is gonna point! I decided to redo the test. Oh! Okay, AMD has won this round fair and square. And what are our frame rates? On AMD, we're currently running at 1300 FPS. On 12 render distance, 52 degrees at about 20% usage. Wow, yeah, this is very consistent. Our frames barely change. Dang. <laughs> I'm curious what performance we see on 32 render distance. Intel PC. Here we go. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. It's not as stable, but it's higher. Our frames are higher, but go up and down a lot more on Intel. Intel is roughly a few hundred FPS higher. There is a but though. Both PCs are in the exact same position in Minecraft. So not only is our AMD PC running cooler, and if we compare it to our Intel PC, our AMD PC is pulling half the electricity. 100 watts versus 43. AMD gets the point here, considering how much less power AMD uses. Neither Intel or AMD are struggling. We need to take our testing to the next level. It is now time for our next test, which is the render distance test. Both of these computers are now set to 32 render distance, the highest render distance in Minecraft Java. And whichever CPU stutters less wins this round. Go! They're lagging, they're both lagging. Ooh! I think Intel got that one. <laughs> what if we fly straight forward on both PCs? If you've done this in Minecraft before, you probably noticed it gets pretty laggy fast. Go! Here we go, here we go, here we go. And which one is stuttering more? I think we might fly into a mountain before we find out. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, okay, everything's ruined now. AMD might be winning. Oh, not again, not again, not again. It's actually really close. In terms of which one is stuttering more though, I think Intel might be stuttering more. I think AMD might have won this one. But even Minecraft Java couldn't max out our CPU. So it is time to move on to Minecraft Bedrock. So we can go ahead and test 96 render distance. Minecraft Bedrock is way more CPU optimized than Minecraft Java. So with Intel having 20 cores, I'm a little nervous for AMD. Here comes 96 render distance. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. You can see so far away. Whoa! 200 watts! AMD is winning so far. Look at our frames. AMD is making an insane comeback. Which one renders the chunks the fastest, though? Three, two, one, go! And to be honest, they both rendered the game at the exact same speed, no difference. But what is Intel's power usage? All right, it is really close between AMD and Intel. And while Intel appears to be just as fast, I think AMD has won this one because the power draw on Intel is just ridiculous. But there is still more to come. So let's go. Our testing only gets more difficult from here. But what about integrated graphics? We're currently getting 220 FPS. Oh wow, 300? 
That is actually somewhat impressive. But how does AMD's integrated graphics handle shaders? What frames do we get? Oh, yeah. Uh, 18, 20. Shaders are not great. Integrated graphics on the Intel PC. Wow. Only a hundred! I can't believe it! AMD is winning by a landslide! With Intel getting less frames, there is no way it's beating AMD in the shaders test. There's no way it's beating AMD. And here we go. Yeah, that's when the unexpected happened. What? <laughs> what? Now we're beating AMD! Okay, not by much. Maybe, maybe by three frames. Both Intel and AMD get a point for this round for winning one each. Okay, guys, it is time for the results, and the truth is, I think both CPUs have their own advantages and disadvantages. It is up to you to decide which one is better. But in my opinion, if you're more of a gamer, I would say go with AMD. If you're video editing, making 3D environments, I would say go with Intel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and click this video. It wants you to click it. It's a really good video.